Well, good morning. Here at the homestead this morning, there is no rest for the wicked. We've had fair weather and all of our materials that we needed. And over the last few days, we have just busted through the to-do list. This morning, we sent the kids to school and put up a whole new to-do list. Already this morning, Nick has selected and carried inside the wood that he's going to use to make the doors, but it has to dry, so it needs to be indoors for a few days. And now he's off to start making the metal bar grate that's going to be in our mudroom for us to scrape our shoes on. So what are you making? I'm making a steel bar grate that's gonna go over the little pit in our mudroom. It's a place to scrape off your shoes and have the dirt fall down. And um, I think it's gonna work pretty well for scraping shoes off before you, uh, before you get in the house. How are you gonna make it? Uh, well, I have some angle iron. I have a whole lot of steel flat bar and some steel rod. Uh, the the flat bar goes on edge uh, every inch and then it gets tied together with the um, with the steel rod going the other way and it all gets welded into an angle iron frame which lets it uh, drop into the hole. For something with multiple cuts like this, I like to set up a jig of some kind so that I don't have to measure each and every one. So in this case, I just put a screw in my little runner board that's a certain distance away from where the cut's going to be made. And then I'm off and running, making 22 of the same thing. welding gas today so it's probably a trip to town um, 
It's a little breezy out here anyway. And so some of my welds have a little porosity, which is not great. But um, with as many welds as there are, some of them can be less than perfect. And how many do you have left? How many welds? Yeah, well, I, mean... I just have to finish out. I didn't count because that <laughs> would be a little neurotic. Not but... the best use of your time. No. <laughs> but I just have these two lines to finish out and some other various bits. Should we go try it out anyway? Yeah. That's a thing. Holy crap. <sighs> That's your job. What, putting it in there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, taking it out to clean and stuff. And I have some foam tape to go on the underside. Okay. Although it's sitting really nicely. Yeah, the reason why I ran them that way is I thought that you would yeah. probably I mean, that that. go across it like that. Yeah. So we can't really cross it off because... No. no check mark. But, uh, half check mark? He couldn't wait. He had to drive into town to get the welding gas so he could finish the project. Our kids are home from school and doing school work and Nick just came home with the um, welding gas and with something else. What do we think of that foot scraper deal? Did you all what? scrape your feet? Yes. Yeah. We're talking about the apron, not the foot scraper. Oh, uh, we can talk about the foot scraper. Goodness. Goodness. That is. That's a lot of. It's thick. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of straps. It is a lot of straps. That's what I was reacting to. Actually, too. I'll strap it for you. Oh, thanks. You want to buckle that? Yeah. Oh, that's not exactly what I'm used to, but it's good. You want to see the pockets on my sweatshirt? Yeah. What pocket? Oof. Oh, it burned all the way through! <laughs> Nick! Did, did and, it burn to your skin? No, it's against my jeans, but it doesn't, it wasn't ever like on fire. It's just slowly burning away a little bit at a time. Oh, it's the sparks. I thought it was the radiation. It was no, the heat it's, radiation. It's like from cutting the grinder. The, the so it's red. from the friction. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Friction causes sparks, which causes holes. And those, not. every little red dot that's flying through the air is a little red hot piece of steel and that steel is abrasive so it's like sandblasting my, my sweatshirt and it's hot so this will survive a little better hopefully it doesn't let this break for very long so this apron is a is really a pretty big deal and I think proof that Nick is in a pretty good mood because he never ever buys things for himself. That's why we have a standing invitation to our friends and subscribers to send him t-shirts because he hardly ever um, will get anything for himself. And also just that it's a, a practical thing for him to keep doing uh, metal work, which is something that he really enjoys. I, I was just thrilled. Well, if you're gonna be knocking out a steel project every afternoon, it's not a bad thing to... Right, that's what I'm saying. It's like, how many sweatshirts could I possibly go through? Right. I'm running out. It's time. And you know, there's nothing really particularly nice about the apron, except that it goes so well with mad skills. And there's nothing more attractive than mad skills.
Adiós. Yellow, Satan? Yeah, we're Does this work? Yeah. Can everybody yeah. reach? Oh. All right, we roll for firsties. Yes. Okay. Let's roll. One, two, six. Yeah. Yes. All right, now roll, Sadie. Roll something to get out. Oh. And if I when we each get up, we grab a cook. Get out, we grab a cookie. Oh, I see. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think it goes the other way. Oh. If you don't get out, you can pick it. One. One, she's out. And you get a cookie. Okay. My mom. No. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, make it out. Get a cookie. Give us a cookie. Oh. <laughs>